Do you remember YouTube Live? YouTube certainly hopes you don't. On November 22nd, 2008, the relatively new but very ambitious video hosting site organized a two-hour live stream event, unlike anything ever seen on the internet, bringing together pop culture icons like Katy Perry, the Black Eyed Peas, and the Mythbusters, together with homegrown content creators like Fred, Smosh, and Bo Burnham. The problem was many of these content creators had never performed live, leading to a host of errors and miscues. Most of the celebrity acts also had never spoken before meeting on camera, leading to some awkward interactions like this one. And he's only 18 years old. Thank God you're 18 at least. Thank you, Mrs. Perry. It's great to be playing here at the uh, Prop 8 Victory Party. I mean, um, what? It, uh, YouTube Live, right. While many tuned in out of sheer curiosity, the final product was not well received. The goal was to create a single event encompassing everything YouTube had to offer, but the scope had become too large. It was like trying to summarize all of modern pop culture in just two hours. The result was an unfocused and sloppily put together variety show that couldn't decide what audience it was for. YouTube Live, Charlie. It's where the internet and real life combine. YouTube has done its best to erase this experiment from history. All the official videos from the event were removed from the site by April 2011. You can still find various bootlegs, including cell phone footage from Google flip phones that YouTube handed out to creators at the event. Since 2013, any creator can live stream on YouTube and with other platforms like Twitch and Facebook joining the trend, it's never been easier to live stream your own content. Unfortunately, YouTube itself never quite figured it out and buried any evidence they ever tried. And now, 15 years later, I have to ask the question, 